If you ever have that feeling like you need to check to see how long a movie is, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> What's up everybody? Today, this is Alan and Josh here to be bringing you a review of Children of the Corn Runaway, or the 10th edition in the Children of the Corn franchise. Should never happen. No. <laughs> you know the plot, because I don't know the If plot. I tell you the plot, I'm gonna fall asleep right here on camera. <laughs> Boy, let me tell you, what a boring piece of mess. I, I kind of get the plot of it, but I just don't care because it was so boring. Yeah. Basically, this girl is a part, she was a part of the original Children of the Corn group of people. Yes. She somehow escaped, I guess she got pregnant at some time, escaped that cult and is running away, and allegedly some kind of evil is following her and messing with her from town to town as she goes, as she's trying to protect her son. Mm -hmm. And that is pretty much the whole plot. As long as the town has a cornfield, she gets messed with. There wasn't even a cornfield. I don't think there was a cornfield in the entire movie. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I saw any pieces sure? of corn. I'm pretty sure there, there was a field of wheat. Did she run? Oh, uh, she, <laughs> she ran through something when she fell on top of the It looked scarecrow. like grass. It might, it might have been high it grass. It looked like high grass, I swear I to God. Know. This movie was a struggle to stay awake. A true testament in testing my ability to stay awake. At one point, we checked to see how far we went into the movie because we thought it was almost over and we were only 40 minutes into it. I knew it was a bad idea. It just made it even longer. Yeah. It did. I mean, there is almost no music in this movie. Everybody talks low. All of the characters are boring and bland, especially her son. Just straight faced all time. I don't even think he spoke. He might have had I mean, he like five lines. Yeah, he might have had, lines. Lines. Yeah, he he might have had lines. five lines. A little girl, bright ass yellow dress, just runs around and she kills two, three people. Three people. Yeah. This whole movie only three people die. By the way. Yeah. It, 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 it supposedly, if you mess with the main character, then this it, little girl, which I guess is a representation of her when she was in the original in the group. original group. But that's really not even made clear, and if it is a real girl, because you see her interacting with other kids, and it's mm -hmm. like, okay. And I mean, there is no likable characters in this at all. Mm. I mean, even when she, like, even like the guy that helps her, the mechanic, what a was asshole. an asshole. Yeah, he was and I'm like, am I supposed to feel bad for him? But I was like, I don't feel bad for him. He was a jackass. He was an ass. The dude gave her a job. I was like, all right, cool. He's a cool guy. Gave her a job, let her sleep in the garage or whatever. Uh -huh. And gave her a house. All of a sudden, just wanted he, that tried, he tried to get some. And she was like, no, get off me. After her son caught them. And he <laughs> that was, was like, it. you know what? You fired. The only one that was nice is the lady at the diner. Yeah, and then and, yeah. and her all the patrons in her in the diner are assholes. Was she the owner of the diner? I don't, the I don't shit know. That she was doing. I mean, she would have been fired if she. Oh, wasn't. I know, I, and I don't know. I have no idea because there was nobody else but her in that diner. Yeah, because it was like an old man. And he was an asshole. So I she, think she was the only that worked there. She might have been. She heated up his spoon, his soup spoon. Yeah, it's like burned himself. I'm like, yeah, what the and fuck? then she gave it to him so he could burn himself, and then she just started laughing. Well, that's a lawsuit waiting to happen. Yeah. God, man, I mean, you want to make a fucking boring movie? This is it. This is a movie you don't watch at night. No, it was just so, there was nothing to it. It was so quiet, so dull. I didn't care about anybody that was happening. I mean, I am not a, really a big Children of the Corn fan. No. I like the first movie and I like the, I think the third movie, the one where it's in the city, only because it's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. And at least that was entertaining. And this is just like, oh my God. I'm like, I'm looking, I'm like, oh my God, please end. Just stop it. Please move. I tap out. Please yeah. stop it. This short as hell does not make me want to watch any of no. the other nine. And even because like it does tie into the first movie, but it's so little. It's just mentioned. And that's really it. It really, even that has no bearing on anything. Well, that actually happens. it's not even mentioned. We found that out by Google. <laughs> you Google well, it. We kind of, you kind of can figure out through flashbacks. Oh, like, yeah, okay, that's true. Okay, I get it. Yeah, I guess. Besides but, the fact that we called the entire movie, of course. Oh, yeah, we called characters and their plots and everything that they did through that movie. Yeah. That movie went on. It was, you could call it. So you see the person be like, oh, I know what they're doing. I mean, it's, it's an F, 100%. Yes. It's unwatchable. I mean, and, and I, I, even if you're a Children of the Corn fan, I cannot imagine sitting through this. I can't even fathom you wanting to do that. You have no Isaac character, you got no Malachi character, you got nobody that like you have resembles the, anything. You don't even have the that. demon in the corn, whatever the hell he's called. Oh, the one that walks behind the yeah, stalks even, or whatever? Yeah, he's not even there. No, you have nothing. And the kids in the town don't do shit. Precisely. They just have You barely fun. have children, and you barely have corn. So in your Children of the Corn movie, I don't understand what the fuck you're thinking. So the deaths in that movie, the three that there is. Not great. They don't even show you like the body piercing of the death. Nope. They just, you know it happened, 
And then after you it's pierced the through the guys. body, they show you after. That's it. Yep. And then one character dies, you don't know if she died. You nope. don't even know how she died. They just All show screen. you her dead. All screen. They're like, oh, okay. Then they set it up like maybe she was doing it to get framed, but now there was police in the fucking place. And they kept rewind, well, rehashing her old kills of, of her mom and dad, I guess. Or her I guess. Well, I, didn't even I don't know who the hell these old ass I already checked out by that. Bother. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your money. We already did it. Yeah. That's just staying in Redbox, too. Yep. I'll never be able to get that time back. Mm -mm. Not that time. Struggling. Not that rental fee. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Not that piece the Redbox got us tonight. That movie needs to be buried in a cornfield. Fuck that movie. Yep. God. F. <laughs> That's such a stupid movie. My God, oh, I'm so tired. That movie cursed our day. <laughs> it cursed our whole fucking night. Anyway, that's our review of Children of the Core, The Runaway. Let us know what you think if you've seen it. If you want to see it, good luck to you. I don't know why you would want to do that. Red Bull. <laughs> yeah, I would suggest a Red Bull and watch it in the daytime. Thank you for watching. Let us know what you think below. We'll see you next time.